In this video, you will learn how to multiply by 10, 100, and 1000 using basic facts and zeros. First, find the basic fact, then count the zeros. Here is an example of how to use basic facts and zeros to multiply by 10, 100, and 1000. First, we'll find the basic fact. We have 9 times 30. The basic fact would be 9 times 3. The same for the next one. 9 times 300, the basic fact, would be 9 times 3. And the basic fact for 9 times 3,000 would also be 9 times 3. So 9 times 3 equals 27. And now we just have to look at the zeros. There is one zero in 30, so there will be one zero in our product. So 9 times 30 equals 270. We'll do the same for the next two. 9 times 3 is 27, but now there are two zeros in 300, so there will be two zeros in the product, 2,700. The basic fact for 9 times 3,000 is 9 times 3 equals 27, and now we have three zeros, 1, 2, 3, so 9 times 3,000 equals 27,000. You can see the basic fact 9 times 3 in all of the problems, and you can see the pattern in zeros as well. 30 gives you 1 zero, 300 gives you 2, and 3,000 gives you 3. Now let's try some practice problems. We have 700 times 5. The basic fact would be 7 times 5, which is 35. And then we will add two zeros from 700 to give us 3,500. For the next one, we have 3,000 times 2. So the basic fact would be 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we have three zeros to add. So 3,000 times 2 equals 6,000. Our last one is a little trickier because for our basic fact of 5 times 6, it's 30. There is a 0 in 30 already, but you still need to add the two extra zeros from 500. So even though there is two zeros in the problem, there will be three zeros in your answer because one of the zeros is from the basic fact. Sometimes there will be zeros in both factors. So here are some examples of that. The first one is 20 times 70. So our basic fact would be 2 times 7, which is 14. And now we have a 0 from the 20 and a 0 from the 70. So we have two zeros for 1,400. Let's take a look at the next one. We have 40 times 100. So our basic fact will be 4 times 1, which is 4. And now we have one, two, three zeros total. So make sure we have three zeros in our product for 4,000. And our last one is a little tricky because our basic fact of eight times five already has a zero. Eight times five is 40. Then we have to add an extra one, two, three zeros to our product. So we get 40,000. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped. Check out my Teaching Exchange Classroom for worksheets and centers, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos.